Hi guys, so AI can do a lot. It can pick out from a long form podcast the clips it thinks will go viral. I was watching this today. I've been looking a lot about AI and all those models that allow text to video to take place like Sora and where this is gonna lead us. But I listened to this podcast and these were the clips I wanted to share with you because I thought they were important. Tell me what you think. The problem, Rob, is that we have created a world where the negative is rewarded. Right? We've created the world of mainstream media where mainstream media is rewarded for broadcasting the negative because the negative grabs your attention and keeps you stuck to the, to the TV or to, to the whatever medium you're, you're watching it at. Okay? And, and, you know, we've created a world where social media rewards you for being fake and unreal and, you know, for being rude and conflict uh, creating because that's where you get the stickiness and the clicks. Right? The truth, however, is that not, this is not the reality of us humans. The, the reality of us humans is we all want to be happy. Mm? We all uh, have the compassion to make those we care about happy. It doesn't matter, by the way, if you're a, a drug lord and you have a daughter mm? and you care about that one daughter, you will want her to be happy. Mm? And we all want to love and be loved. That's, the, that's, the, that's humanity in a nutshell. Mm? Ask yourself, when was the last time that you showed up in the world with that? Everyone listening, hmm? ask yourself, when was the last time you showed up in the world as someone who wants to be happy and has the compassion to make others happy and wants to love and be loved, right? If this is not how you show up in the world and you show up as the arrogant, egocentric, always right person that is thrashing everyone on social media, the machines are watching, okay? You know, I always used to, to, to comment on Donald Trump when he, when he would tweet, one tweet on top and 300,000 hate speech below it. Right? The first one, you know, uh, 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 dislikes what Trump said. The second one dislikes what the first one said. And the third one thrashes everyone. Right? Yeah, the machine makes note. It, you know, takes note. It, it says the first one doesn't like tweets from the president. So let's not tweet anymore. Let's not show him anymore. Okay? The second one doesn't like the first one. Let's not have them, uh, you know, uh, uh, sh see the same topics anymore. But then in the mind of the machine, it basically says, and all of humanity is rude and obnoxious. And when they de they're disagreed with, they want to bash everyone. Okay? So basically, when humanity disagrees with me, I'm going to bash them. Th this is really what we're teaching the machines. What can I do? Who can I be to make this that I don't like go away? Now, my wonderful Ali, he, he, he was incredibly wise. I was, he was 14, maybe 15, I was larger than life. Chief business officer, Google X, money, uh, cars parked outside, everything that you can ever dream of, every sign of power. And hold on, I was chief business officer of Google. You don't understand the amount of power you have when you're a senior executive at Google. That's almost like a head of state, right? Walks in Ali into the living room and he says, Papa, I have something to tell you, but I I'm, I'm, I'm think it's going gonna, it's gonna to make you upset. I, I learned over time when he speaks, I listen. So I said, Habibi, tell me, what, what do you want to say? And he said, Papa, you're never going to fix the world. I said, what? what? Why, Habibi? Why don't you have a spark? Hmm? Where's that ambition that we learn about in Harvard Business Review that, you know, unless you have a spark that you want to fix the world, you're, you're never even going to try. He said, Papa, I told you it's going to upset you. Hmm? You're never going to fix the world. You can only fix your little world, he said. He said, what do you mean? He said, look, you want to make the world a better place. You start with working on you. You make you a better person. And then maybe, just maybe, me and my sister will listen to you. Okay? And then when, you are, when you've convinced us, then you can go to the rest of your friends and maybe they'll listen to you. Then maybe it's your department at work. Then maybe it's your company. Then maybe it's your country then maybe it's the world. And even then, you're not going to fix it. Why? Because like you rightly said, Rob, the rules of the game, hmm? the game would be so, so boring if the game started, you pushed the controller forward and you waited 70 years and you died. What kind of learning and development is that? What kind of achieving the best potential of yourself would that be? Right?